provided that you don't have any respiratory symptoms. Otherwise, we're going to have to wear a mask or you're going to have to wear a mask. So that I can come Dr. Bernard Shu owns a small general practice in Geelong. Before March, it was usually pretty busy, but as fear around the COVID pandemic increased, patient numbers halved. Okay, so, uh, the blood pressure is broken, so it's, it's, there are days that some of our GPs actually have no booking for the whole afternoon. Dr. Shu is now going into debt to keep his practice afloat, using bank overdrafts to pay staff wages and electricity. He knows it's not sustainable. The financial situation is still uh, quite worrying and uh, we're looking at data, looking at uh, the month of May, we have dropped significantly and uh, at least over 30% of our income has lost. So uh, we are still struggling. I have lost many nights of sleep for sure. So how is the booking this afternoon? He's one of many GPs around the country now facing the very real prospect of shutting up shop. There is a very good chance that in the next three to six months we have to close our doors because we just won't be able to survive uh, with the current financial situation. And he's not alone. New data provided exclusively to 7.30 by the Royal Australian College of GPs shows most practices reported a sharp decrease in revenue since the pandemic hit. A third of GP practices lost more than 30% of their revenue last month compared to the same time last year. And while over half of the 1,000 GPs and practice staff surveyed said they were optimistic their practice would be viable, the rest weren't sure their businesses would still be operating in six months' time. If we look at some of the results that are coming out, it is very, very concerning. Accountant David Darm has a bird's eye view of the problem. His business advises hundreds of GP practices around the country and he's watching a worrying trend emerge. Most practices and businesses you know, generally have fixed overheads of you know, nearly 85% of their total overheads. So, um, you know, so if you get a 20% drop, you've pretty much got a practice that is break even and possibly insolvent. This has been the worst I have seen it in three decades in this industry and it is something that urgently must be addressed. 730 has spoken to GPs around the country who say the problem is threefold. For starters, there's been a sharp drop in patient numbers during the pandemic because people are worried about getting sick from visiting a clinic or overburdening the system. At the same time, the introduction of compulsory bulk billing for some telehealth consultations means they're getting less money for each patient. But they've told us the problem started before COVID with the government's Medicare rebate, which they say is too low. The rebates haven't gone up much at all for the last two decades and uh, it hasn't kept up with inflation and it hasn't kept up with the increased costs in uh, rent, insurance, etc. In a statement, Health Minister Greg Hunt said the government had allocated a billion dollars to support GPs, including increasing bulk billing incentives for concessional patients. Are you okay? Are you not sick or anything? I'm feeling well. Okay. Brisbane GP and practice owner Dr Maria Bolton hasn't taken home a pay packet for months. Dr Bolton and her practice co-owner have been putting everything back into their business. Like Dr Shu, revenues tumbled by a third. I think the current situation is dire and the trouble is that a lot of mixed billing clinics are in financial distress and it is something that keeps us up at night. I have certainly never seen it this bad. I've been a GP for 16 years. I have been employed as a contractor and now as an owner and COVID has certainly has certainly put a lot of businesses in the financial stress zone. Lovely, just need to make sure you're feeling well, no cold or flu-like symptoms, cough, running... Dr nose. Bolton's worried there are tougher months ahead. We will have to look at our expenses and one of those expenses will be staff costs. The whole industry is under threat because if general practice suffers, then what happens is that the hospitals become inundated. Accountant David Darm also fears the worst is yet to come. I believe that up to 10% of practices may be facing closure. It's already happening now. And he warns it's not just doctors and their staff who'll be worse off. I cannot see any option for doctors' fees not to go up if the patient numbers do not increase. There is no other option. Patients are going to start finding that they're going to have less access to care.
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.